These two visual artists have teamed up about four years ago to stay off the streets and earn a living from their art. Despite their eagerness to make their mark in the industry, they did not yet find any assistance from interesting partners to team up with. If you come at the Ministry of Education and Arts, people lock them in into the offices. We can also teach children's arts in the schools. But uh, uh, maybe government or in Namibia, the, the uh, VIPs or the uh, parliamentarians, and I don't even hear on the news that one day there was a, a talk like uh, arts in Namibia. Uh, you, uh, the, we are in uh, different categories of the arts. They also called for more opportunities for artists to sell and display their artworks at various locations, such as tourist hotspots. We haven't gotten any help yet from anyone. We are still trying. We approached several media outlets to publish our work, but we haven't gotten any assistance yet. That's why we are pleading to at least be given platforms to showcase our work. They said although the National Art Gallery is playing its part, little has been done to assist visual artists in the country. This story has to come to the president. Uh, I, was, uh, I was planning to go to the president ne next week um, uh, uh, so that the, maybe the police officers can lock me in because uh, I'm very unhappy. Um, uh, uh, I want to report uh, uh, these, all these problems uh, so that we must maybe have our own ministry, not uh, uh, together with education. For now, their artworks are only displayed at their house, waiting for a golden opportunity to showcase it to the rest of the world. Karuweb and Roinasi are however optimistic that their future looks bright on the local and international art scene. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.